guys, so today I wanted to do a video on what nursing shoes I wear and have found have worked for long shifts where you're standing for 12 plus hours, running around. Um, it's taken me a long while to figure this out, so I'm excited to share this with you. But before we get started, I wanted to mention that today's video is sponsored by Weave Wearables. Weave Wearables is a company that does custom insoles for your shoes, which is awesome when you are a nurse and it's super simple, super affordable. You just download their app and you can take pictures of your feet and your arches. You send it in, they make the custom insoles for you. You can pick like the prints and stuff, how you want them to look. Very simple, very affordable, and I love it. So if you're interested in checking them out, their link will be down below as well as a promo code. Okay, so I want to talk about my nursing shoe journey, I guess you could say, because I have tried several different brands of shoes and different things to try and figure out what works. And um, the best thing I can recommend and say, well, a couple things, is one, what shoe works for me may not work for you. I have very high arches on my feet. If you have wide feet, flat feet, skinny feet, bigger feet, smaller feet, some shoes aren't going to work for you. Um, and so one thing that I have found that is super helpful for me is getting custom insoles because of my high arches. It just helps support my feet and helps a lot. Anyways, we will get to that in a second. So when I was in nursing school, I was told that Dansko shoes are the best shoes for people who are on their feet all the time. They're the very hard, um, I want to say plastic. I don't know what they're made of, but they're very hard and, um, taller. I'll insert a picture here. Um, but I had a pair of dance goes for probably two and a half, three years. And those shoes did not work for me. I know many people swear by them, but I just felt that they're too heavy, too clunky, too hard on the bottoms of my feet. So I had those for like two and a half years before I ended up switching to different shoes. Currently there are two pairs of shoes that I wear to work and I have them here and they're kind of old. I probably should get new ones here soon but I want to show you them. Um, I have a pair of Skechers that are just very basic in general. These are, let's see if I can figure out what they actually are. I don't even know. They're like their Skechers Sport brand. Um, I'll see if I can insert a link of to where these exactly are, but I'll put that down below if I can find it. And they've got like cool foam, very lightweight, very, um, I don't know what you want to say. Uh, but I have enjoyed wearing these ones because um, one, they're lightweight, which I personally think is important. They can fit custom insoles in them when I just take out this bottom foam part here. And I like the um, texturing on the outside. So this is super important to think about if you are working with a lot of needles, which most nurses do. If you drop a needle or have body fluids that get on your shoes, um, it can soak through the material or pierce through the material and you can get a needle stick. Um, these shoes are... I don't want to say cloth, I don't know what they're made out of, but you could definitely, stuff could definitely soak through here and a needle could definitely pierce through here, but I feel like it would take a lot of body, body fluids to soak through here and it would also take a needle like perfectly dropped and like at a high velocity to like actually pierce through this and like hit your foot. So I know that's important to consider and think about, but for me, I don't know. I, I don't foresee. I, like That would be so rare for a needle to like perfectly drop at enough speed to like actually pierce through this because it is pretty coarse. The other pair of shoes that I wear, and I haven't been wearing these as frequently because I actually was staining outside in them and I got um, some stain on there. So it looks like, I, I think it looks like a GI bleed stain. I know it sounds silly, but it's like kind of brown. So I don't want people to like judge me like oh like she's got stuff on her shoes ew that's gross that must be body fluids because what else do you think when you're like at, at work and see like gross stuff on people's shoes uh, but these are just nike i think nike freeze nike nike zoom pegasus 32 i don't know um but i like these because they're pretty much the same as the other ones they're lightweight i like the color nikes work well for me because i have pretty narrow feet and so um these have been working for me. Basically what I've determined in out of all of my nursing shoes that I've tried and I've tried several different brands is one something that's lightweight 
that you're comfortable in. I tend to like kind of like running shoes, CrossFit shoes, whatever, um, that are just light on my feet. And then having custom insoles is a must have, I believe. So these are my custom insoles from Weave Wearables, which is awesome. They actually have like my name on them. But you can see just based off of these, like how high my arches are. Um, but you customize them, you, the look of them, the backs of them, they can put your name on it. And uh, it's just nice to have custom insoles that fit your feet. Nursing shoes can get to be really expensive. Insoles can get to be expensive depending on where you go. Uh, but if you think about it, if you buy one pair of shoes a year or even every two years, think about how much you're wearing them during the week, during your shifts, and divide that price out over like 12 months and you end up only paying like 10 or 15 bucks a month-ish depending on where you go through, what shoes you get. And um, to me, it's worth it to have good nursing shoes because it can make a difference in your feet, in your legs, in your back. And if you have custom insoles, that's just like the cherry on top. So again, there is a promo code down below for Weave Wearables. And um, I'm excited I found a website, an app where it's so easy to get custom insoles because it just makes the process easier. I personally am an online person. I hate going shopping for anything. Um, I like to just do it online at the convenience of my bed. And this is nice because you just take pictures of your feet and send it in and then they save your pictures so that way if you need to reorder in insoles in the future, you don't have to retake pictures of your feet because most likely unless something dramatic happens, you're not changing the shape of your feet. Um, anytime soon. So that is my nursing shoe journey and what I use. I hope, I hope it's helpful to you guys. I know that I get this question asked quite frequently on what I use um, and I hope it works for you. I know it doesn't work for everyone. Everyone has different size, shape, feet and everything but um, if you have any other questions leave them down below. Let me know what you've found works for you for as far as nursing shoes go. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.